Welcome to my crib. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. How did you earn that money to live like that? Dude, teaching English. <laughs> teaching English in Vietnam, you live like a king. Like this. Bed. This apartment comes with my two. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out how much she would be willing to pay to stay here. Hi, Alexis, how welcome. Are you? Welcome. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Very good. This is lovely. <laughs> so Alexis is a um, businesswoman. Yes, I am. What do you do in Hanoi, Alexis? I do lash extensions, but I also have an online lash supply business. I'm kind of a micro influencer on Instagram, so I do love traveling. Yeah, places. so I checked her Instagram. She has 17,000 followers. Dang. <laughs> Are you ready for the tour? I am ready. I'm ready. I'm so, the kitchen is a little bit messy today because I had a party. Oh. I always have parties here because I'm known to be like the Gatsby of the. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the most expensive one <laughs> in Vietnam. The most. The most expensive okay. one. Yeah. It's like, that's what i really this is love standard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah about um apartments in vietnam in general because they are always fully furnished right? yes yes it saves you so much time having to shop for furniture do you cook yes a lot i cook a lot so what is your specialty i'm from the south i'm from texas so i love some good old healthy fulfilling soul food Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alexis is like one of the rarest expats <laughs> who's actually not teaching here. Yeah, I think it's a great way to come to Hanoi and have a wonderful lifestyle. It's just not for me. And the reason why this apartment is called the M Library mm -hmm. is because of this. Do you like reading? I do, I do like reading. What's your favorite book? Right, uh, it's a book called The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Right now I'm reading Shantaram. No clue what it is. Oh, look at this view, oh, Alexis. Wow, this is it. So here you can see the whole of oh my Westlake. This is it. This is the view you want to wake up to every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to, yeah. for the bedroom? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure, let's sure. go. Go right ahead. Where the magic happens. Yeah, the magic happens. <laughs> One thing that I look for when I rent an apartment here is Western yes, style sure. and that yeah, yeah, it's pretty soft. Really comfortable. So what do you think of like people saying that like Teho is like kind of like the, mm -hmm. the expat bubble? Yeah, I mean it can be, but what I love is there's still quite a few locals here and we still have the locals on the street selling produce, so you still get the best of both. Yeah, um, and you get the convenience of all the restaurants. It's the convenience, the grocery stores, the restaurants, just things that you're used to. What's your favorite restaurant? I go to Moose and Rue a lot. Oh, so yeah. fancy. <laughs> what about your favorite place to drink? Hanoi Taco Bar. The happy so, hour margaritas, they will lay you out. Our favorite place to drink is Turtle Lake. Really? The best beer in town. Okay, I see, and I really don't drink beer, but their chicken wings? I've been in some, some nice bedrooms, but this view from this bedroom, no one says tacos. No one has tacos. You ready for the bath? You lead the way, sir. Do you have a bath in your apartment? I finally do. It took me a oh, long nice. time, but what I do know is this is not the norm. This is not the norm is for not. apartments mm -hmm. in uh, Hanoi, so mm -hmm. this is awesome. It's way bigger than Texas. Yes. So, how much usually, like, not like this, because this is like a really luxury right. apartment. So, like, how much usually do you pay for average apartments in Texas? 900 mm -hmm. to about 1500 900 to 1500 That's the most basic. Yeah. So, this apartment is $38 million. Okay. So, that's like a thousand in... $1,600 to $1,700, like that. I actually think that's kind of fair for what you Yeah, and you get, it's fully furnished, oh. you have this view, and electricity, water, Wi-Fi, everything is included. Um, for like overnight stay, you mm -hmm. can pay around 
million dong, okay. which yeah. is like seventy dollars. So that's what I was doing on the cruise. We went on this ride, and at the end of the ride, the parents were like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "Yo, come here. Check out the best part of this apartment is that they know about Kuala Lumpur." Oh, yeah. He produced in right, Hanoi. Right. They got two episodes, right? They got two episodes. I heard they got some kind of a problem. They are delayed. Mm. They need help. I heard they, they got a Patreon site, so they can. Yeah, buy... yeah I, I think we should help them. I think we like should $10. help the Koala produce more and more episodes. That has such big potential. So I'm gonna link down the Patreon website of Koala below. Maybe they can help because. You cartoons like also? that, we have to like they have to make more episodes. <laughs>